How can couples maintain sexual spark in the long term? What is the influence of pornography on the sexual education of young people? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. To maintain sexual spark in the long term, couples can focus on open and honest communication, maintaining emotional intimacy, continuously exploring new sexual experiences, planning romantic and erotic dates, and mutually committing to prioritize and keep alive the physical and emotional connection in the relationship. The influence of pornography on the sexual education of young people can be complex. Pornography may provide inappropriate or unrealistic information about sex, distorting expectations. It is important for young people to have access to comprehensive and evidence-based sexual education to balance this influence. Robot Fetishism With the advancement of technology, some people experience sexual attraction to robots or artificial intelligences, known as robot fetishism. Role-playing games are a common way to explore sexual fantasies. Couples can take on roles and scenarios to unleash their creativity and enhance sexual arousal. Screening tests. Regular STD screening tests are important, especially for sexually active individuals or those with multiple sexual partners, as many STDs can be present without obvious symptoms. Seduction games. Seduction and flirting are key components of foreplay, as they increase sexual tension and anticipation, setting the stage for a more intense and satisfying sexual experience. Sense of humor. A good sense of humor can be very attractive to many women. The ability to make someone laugh is often considered a desirable quality. Sex and creativity. Sex and creativity are related in various ways. Many artists and writers have found inspiration in their sex lives. The connection between artistic expression and intimacy can be a source of innovation and personal expression. Sex and Science The science of sex, known as sexology, is a multidisciplinary field that explores human sexuality from a scientific perspective. Sexologists study a wide range of topics, from sexual anatomy to sexual therapy. Sex in the Middle Ages During the Middle Ages, sexuality was influenced by religious morality and a lack of sexual education. However, erotic manuals and sexual practices also existed. Sex in water, whether in a pool, jacuzzi, or the sea, can be exciting, but it's important to remember that the body's natural lubricants can disappear in water, making sex uncomfortable. Additionally, water is not a good substitute for lubricant. In urban settings in developing countries, sexual and reproductive health clinics run by young people have been established to provide counseling, HIV testing, and distribution of contraceptives tailored to the needs of young populations. Sexual education. Some people use pornography as a tool for sexual education, although this can be problematic due to the unrealistic and unhealthy representation of sexuality. Sexual exploration. For many people, open relationships offer the opportunity to explore their sexuality more broadly and experiment with different partners and sexual practices consensually. Sexual fantasies and erotic literature. Erotic literature has been a source of inspiration for many people in their sexual fantasies. Erotic stories can allow people to explore scenarios and experiences that may not be possible in real life. Sexual Motivations, the University of Texas, conducted research identifying 237 different motivations for having sex. Interestingly, having children and relieving tension are no longer the main reasons. Other motivations include getting closer to God, burning calories, returning a favor, changing the topic of conversation, and even getting rid of a headache. This study demonstrates that human sexual motivations are extremely complex. 
Sexual pleasure. Sex is not just about reproduction, but also about pleasure and emotional connection. Pursuing sexual pleasure can be an important part of the human experience and contribute to emotional and physical well-being. Sexual role-playing involves taking on characters or erotic scenarios during sexual activity. It can be a fun way to explore fantasies and desires. Sexual therapy. Sexual therapy involving working with a therapist specialized in sexual issues can be effective in addressing underlying emotional and psychological concerns related to premature ejaculation. Sexuality and disability. People with disabilities have sexual lives and intimate relationships, but often face physical, social, and emotional barriers to fully and satisfactorily express their sexuality. Sexuality in ancient Egypt. In ancient Egypt, sexuality was considered a natural part of life and was reflected in Egyptian art and mythology. Sex was viewed as a divine act. Sexuality in old age. Sexuality does not stop with age. Many older people enjoy an active and satisfying sex life, and it is important to challenge negative stereotypes about sexuality in old age. Sexually transmitted diseases can affect people of all ages, races, sexual orientations, and genders. They do not discriminate and can affect anyone who engages in unprotected sexual activity. Shockwave therapy for erectile dysfunction. Shockwave therapy is a non-invasive treatment that uses acoustic waves to improve blood flow to the penis, which may help improve erectile function in some men. Silent infections. Many STDs, such as chlamydia and gonorrhea, may not present obvious symptoms, leading to unnoticed spread and increased risk of long-term complications if left untreated. Skin as a sexual organ. The skin is the body's largest organ and is filled with nerve endings. Physical contact, such as hugs and massages, can be highly erotic and stimulating. Smart toys. With the advancement of technology, smart sex toys have emerged that can be controlled via mobile apps, allowing couples to connect remotely and customize their sexual experience. Social taboo. Although fetishes are common and natural, there are still social taboos surrounding certain fetishes, especially those considered uncommon or socially unacceptable. This can lead individuals with fetishes to feel stigmatized or ashamed of their sexual interests. Solo exploration. Many women enjoy experimenting with different sexual positions during solo masturbation sessions as a way to discover what feels best for them and enhance their understanding of their own pleasure. Speed of arousal. Men can have a complete erection in just 10 seconds, and sometimes they only need to look at something that stimulates them for a few seconds. In contrast, women require stimuli more related to the brain, such as emotional intimacy and connection. Spirituality. For some women, spirituality and the search for meaning in life are attractive qualities. Standing positions. Although less common, some women enjoy standing sexual positions, such as against the wall or leaning standing, which can add an element of adventure and risk to the sexual experience. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.